Well, that's, you know, that's the big thing about uh, you know arena football. If you, if you control your possessions, you're able to score pretty much most of your possessions. Not turn it over, get some turnovers. Uh, you know, most of, most times or not, you come out with a victory. So it was, a, it was a great team win. The guys played extremely hard all for, for, for the whole 60 minutes. Uh, we got some work to do to clean up on some special team stuff, but for the most part, this is a very exciting night for the kids. It just seemed like the game last week, it just, it just bled into today. I mean, the second half of that uh, Sharks game, you guys played pr pretty fluid. Just kind of uh, something of this game, you guys played, again, a clean football game defensively as well. Yeah, I mean, a lot has to do with, with those, those three guys in the back right there. We're getting good pressure up front, uh, having a veteran back there who's, who's been around the game for a long time, and Kaiser. Being able to make checks and make the right checks and put us in the right spots, and then uh, you know Victoria and, and Scott are playing well for us right now. Um, but that doesn't work if we don't get pressure from the guys in, in the front, and they did that tonight. They were putting Kyle, uh, Kyle in some bad positions, uh, make some bad throws he probably didn't want, and we were able to steal some balls. How important was it to have Adrian back in the starting? Point? Huge, huge. I mean, you want about you want to talk about an annoying human being. Adrian McPherson could not wait to get back on the field. Every week he wanted to get that boot off. Every week he was calling me, saying, Coach, I'm ready to go. And, no, you're not. But, uh, you know, he's the leader of our football team. We got, you know, Rayshon, Donovan, Adrian, Antro. When you get all four of our leaders back on the field, you know, the guys seem to follow that and, and gravitate to that. And that's what happened tonight. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great victory, a great victory for the KISS. Uh, we still have a long season left. You know, we were able to break into that wooden column tonight. It's a, like I said, it's, it's a great feeling. We haven't felt that feeling in a long time. Uh, and hopefully we can keep that momentum going. Talk about San Jose next week. They're undefeated, and uh, obviously they're a very resilient team. Anything that you've seen uh, during their 10 on game winning streak that you can maybe exploit in the next week? Uh, probably not going to put that out there right now. Uh, we, we obviously, have, every, obviously every team has tendencies. We're going we're gonna to break them down. We've done a pretty good job for the most part. They played Friday. We've done, we've done our breakdown. We have a short week. They played on Friday. We played tonight. We've got to fly out on Friday. So, you know, they've had a couple days more, uh, a couple days of rest. But uh, it's always tough to play in San Jose. They're, they're the best team in the Arena League right now at 11-0. Uh, they're playing well. They're, they're firing on all cylinders. We just got to go out there and continue what we did tonight and play mistake-free football and hopefully get a couple turnovers and put the pressure on them. So, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy this for the next 24 hours. We're going to get ready on Tuesday in practice and get ready for San Jose. How about the rest of the stretch? You have San Jose, then Philadelphia next the week after that, and then Arizona the week after that. It's a very tough stretch. So, I mean, anything that you're – do you think this game is kind of like the big, big step getting over the hump, getting the first win? It's always – getting the first win is always huge. And, and, and now these guys in that locker room feel, feel – winning feels like feeling the success. So hopefully that carries over. Uh, appreciate you reminding me of the stretch we got coming up. It's a tough one. Uh, but we're, we're up to the challenge. We know if we want to be the best, we got to beat the best. And that's, that's the famous cliche everyone's going to say. And we're going to go out there and we're going to fight just like we did tonight for 60 minutes, like we did last week. And I think all the pieces of our puzzle are coming together right now. But, uh, you know, anything can happen in the second half. You know, our, cha our, our objective right now is to go 2-0 in the second half of the season. And that's worrying about San Jose. If we continue to get better as the second half goes on, you know, we're hoping to be there at the dance at the end. It seemed like Gilson made some big plays for you too, especially that catch in the corner of the end zone. Yeah, Tommy's a, Tommy's a guy that's going to go out there and, and do everything you ask him to do. He's not flashy, he's not the fastest kid out there, but he knows how to play the game of football. And, uh, flashy. Huh? I said he's not flashy. Who's flashy? Me, I'm pretty flashy. But uh, Tommy's a good nose. He's a, he's a, he's a blue-collar football player. That's what you ask him to be. He's great on special teams for us. He does everything we ask him to do. And, uh, you know, he had one big catch. I think Donovan had a couple big catches. Solo had to, we all had big catches one time to, when we needed him during the game. And uh, I think that's why we came out with the victory. On Kaiser's touchdown, it almost looked like he knew what was coming. Uh, was it the right defense or just a good read? Or uh, we went over that plan. I'm just going to say we went over that plan in practice. And, you know, he took a chance. And he was able to come, come and jump it and take it for a touchdown. Again, that's a veteran football player right there. He knows. He, he studies film. He listens to what our coaches are putting him in, what positions we're putting him in. And he was able to come out and make a big play for us. He had two big interceptions for us today. Um, I think it pretty much almost doubled what we had all season. So, okay, we want to continue to ride this momentum into San Jose next week and hopefully go 2-0. You, you guys are coming. See you in a couple weeks. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.